All right, so today I reached a really big milestone here on my YouTube channel. In this video that I'm recording right now, this is my 500th video here on YouTube. It's pretty incredible, I can't even believe it myself. And I actually started my channel about 11 years ago, and for the first six or seven years, I think I only put out about 28 videos. And then I'd say about a year and a half, I got really serious and started doing the serious grind here on YouTube, putting out a video every single day for pretty much a year and a half and now I'm to the point where I release a video at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every single day seven days a week it is pretty intense and it's 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 kind of interesting because I'm almost like uh, you know it's it's almost like being an artist and the film is my canvas and I'm working every single day trying to be creative and bringing a reptile vlog as well as kind of an informational like a class session and Bobby here is my son kick he always likes to choke me out crazy snake and I, I pretty much have improved a little bit every single day if you watch some of my really early videos I've tried to improve little by little day after day and and today I kind of want to look back at some of my original videos and what I really want to look at is is Lucy Lucy is my big reticulated python she is about I'd say she's probably over 80 pounds now. She is really big, probably about 15 feet long. And I want to show you the transition that she's gone through, you know, pretty much from a really big snake all the way back in time to where she was a really small little tiny snake. And I'm going to kind of walk you through the, the old videos on YouTube. We're going to check her out. I think that'll be really interesting. If you haven't seen that, it is something. Getting a really small snake and watching them grow into a big monster over a relatively short amount of time I've only had her for about three years and she has grown like a rocket it is pretty incredible so I'm gonna jump over to, to YouTube check out some of my old YouTube videos I think you'll get a kick out of it and let's take a look at Lucy as a baby all right, so I'm over here on YouTube, and what I'm going to show you first, I'm going to show you one of the latest videos where I actually picked up Lucy. It's probably the last one where I picked her up as a full-size adult. She is really big, and every single video I take of her, she gets bigger and bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up full screen so you can kind of get the whole effect here and take a look at this. She is really big. Take a look at how big she is. This is... Probably about 80 pounds, I'd say. Jeez, <laughs> she is a big girl. <laughs> I actually took a weight here, so it'll be interesting to see. I was kind of struggling right here, trying to figure out how to weigh her with all this. <laughs> it was almost, she's almost too big that I actually, I almost can't even handle her myself. She is a really big snake. You can tell I was definitely struggling here. And uh, let's see what she actually came in at. I can't even remember what she weighed at. <laughs> we'll see if I can get her in the box and take a weight on her. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> I can laugh at myself because I'm definitely struggling. Trying to get a weight on the snake. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was actually it was this video where I realized that I need a second person for this snake. This snake is just a little too much for me to handle. It is pretty incredible. <laughs> and you notice I actually had my back brace on during this. This is pretty incredible. <laughs> I was definitely getting my work up, that's for sure. Let's see what she came in at here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Seventy-two point four. <laughs> so that is a big snake. Let me tell you. So actually, that was that was actually quite a while ago. It was uh, probably maybe let's see when was that? That was June twelfth. June twelfth. So 
So July, August, that was two and a half months ago. So 72 pounds, I'm thinking she is definitely over 80 pounds. She's had quite a few rants since I recorded this. So let's take a look at this. This was actually April 2019th. This is, here's another one where I was trying to pick her up. She's a little bit lighter in this video, not quite as big. I can handle her a little bit, bit better. You can definitely tell she doesn't have the girth on this one. She's a little bit thinner. Oh, let's see if I can get her. But she's still, <laughs> still a heavy snake. She is really big in this one. <laughs> and this one I was actually talking about uh, reptile forums and I just kind of wanted to pick her up and show her off. Take a look at how big she is. definitely gotten bigger. She is a big girl in this one. So let's go back in time a little bit more and, and take a look at this. So this is actually when I was giving her a bath. She was stuck in a shed. This is from January. So this is eight months ago. This is, this is what she looked like eight months ago. She's grown quite a bit in the last eight months. I, was actually, I actually brought her up to my bathtub and I gave her a, a, a bath <laughs> trying to get the stuck shed off of her because she was actually on coconut husk and I actually let her dry out and she went into a shed and, <laughs> and she was in a really bad stuck shed. You can definitely tell she is definitely a little bit smaller than she was in that last video. And that was kind of an interesting video where she actually was trying to go crazy in the bathtub, crawling up the walls. That was a fun one. <laughs> Let's go back just a little bit more and see if we could get a little bit smaller of Lucy. This is from December, so this is a little bit earlier. She actually ate 10 rats in three days on this one, so she's still pretty big. Now take a look at this. This is... November 2018. This is another month before that, so she's getting a little bit smaller. You can see she's... <laughs> so essentially in this video, what I did is she, she actually, at one point she had a really bad respiratory infection. Her mouth was all inflamed and she had this really thick, like a pus-like substance on her mouth. And in this video, I actually moved her to the enclosure, the, the really big enclosure. And it was really, she out, pretty much outgrew the, the tub that she was in. And when I moved her to the enclosure out of my pool table, the big six foot with the, the infrared heat lamp over uh, inside, she pretty much cleared up almost pretty much instantly within a few weeks her respiratory infection went away and I was really glad I was really worried about her for a long time that she was actually she wasn't gonna make it and this was actually back when she was really sick I was treating her with a reptifogger this was in April June July August so this was a year and four months ago and take a look at how big she was here <laughs> she's I actually thought she was a big snake in this video and until I actually she she grew just in the last year and a half and she got really super big and this one it's kind of interesting I was actually going on the I was trying to move her from the bottom tub up to a top tub and you can definitely tell she wasn't really that big and it's, it's funny because as she gets bigger and bigger you don't you always think yeah this is the biggest the snake's ever been and then you, she gets a little bigger a year later and she she's definitely turned into a monster you can definitely tell there that um, not really that comfortable handling her because it's the first time I really handled a snake that big and now if I handle the snake that big it definitely wouldn't be a problem she's definitely not as big as she is now she's she's still pretty big but not as big as she is now she's <laughs> take a look at that snake what a cute you can definitely tell there on her mouth right there she's got some pretty bad respiratory infection on her mouth that was kind of freaking me out so let's look, take a look at this. This is a really cool video here. This is actually kind of when she was a lot smaller. This was in 2016. So this was actually three years ago. This is uh, almost uh, August, uh, pretty much exactly three years ago. This is what Lucy looked like. Take a look at this. <laughs> Thank you.
That is unbelievable. <laughs> and you can see there she's in front of my African cichlid tank. She's definitely a smaller snake. Now this one's really gonna freak you out. This, take a look at this. This is when she was a baby, a really small baby. As a matter of fact, this was, I'm not sure, I think this is about six months before that. Take a look at this one. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> Look at how tiny she is. She's so cute. <laughs> and here's another one. Take, take a look at this last one here. This is actually when I was feeding her as a baby. Take a look at this one. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> and I had this like death metal music set to the background. And here she is, a tiny little reticulated python. Lucy's such a tiny little baby. I can't even believe it. <laughs> Look at how small she is. And that's I, I, that's pretty much right when I bought her. She wasn't much bigger than, than that when I actually bought her. <laughs> oh, that is funny. <laughs> And then take a look at this. So if you, you actually, if you looked at my my very first video where I had my whole pretty much wall to wall tubs in my snake room, I wanted to show you real quick, kind of a flashback of my snake room here. So this is this is originally what my snake room looked like. Actually, right after I got my first rack. So I actually had on this side I had rodents, and then just one little rack over here I had some ARS. 8018s on the bottom and then 7030s on the top and that is the very first rack systems that I actually bought from ARS caging and this was this was my reptile room right here I just had those and then some glass aquariums on either side with some rodents and then over where I have my hatchling rack I just had a little work table on the side and that's pretty much it. That's how I started. As a matter of fact, before I actually got my ARS caging, my racks, my 7030 and my 8018s, I actually had a whole room totally full of glass aquariums. My ball pythons were in glass aquariums and my rodents were in glass aquariums. And I, here I had some African soft furs and actually if you look down on the bottom, right under the African soft furs, I had six regular Norway rats and those Norway rats are my original six that I started all my my tens of thousands of rats that I've had over the year they all came from those original six rats which is pretty amazing and this is kind of cool if you ever have African softwares you can actually put them uh, in a glass aquarium with a wheel and they are obsessed with a wheel let me tell you African softwares it's, it's just really cool they, they don't really reproduce very well they're really slow to reproduce produce they're more of a pet than anything but you can actually put a wheel in there and they just love crawling on the wheel it is pretty awesome all right, so the cool thing about making YouTube videos is that I can actually go back and look at some of the previous videos and get a feel for where I started. And sometimes it feels like you're not making that much progress until you actually look back at your meager beginnings, the glass aquariums and the small racks. And then I look at my operation now and I pretty much have wall-to-wall -wall racks in my whole snake room. I've upgraded quite a bit in my collection here, added quite a few genes over the years. And as you can see, a lot of my snakes have grown quite a bit, especially Lucy. That is the one that's probably the most shocking out of all my snakes. All right, so it is time for the question of the day. And Marcuzzi asks, what is your most expensive ball python? And I actually pulled one out here. This actually used to be my most expensive ball python. This is a female lemon blast scaleless head. And the scaleless heads were really hot last year. As a matter of fact, when I hatched this out, these were selling 
for $6,000 a snake. I'd say this is probably one of the most expensive snakes that I have ever had in my collection. You can see they have some scales missing from the top of their head. It's a pretty high expression scaleless head. And you actually mix two of these snakes together and you get a completely scaleless ball python. And I'd say these have come down quite a bit. It's definitely not worth 6,000 now, but the totally scaleless is pretty much is what everybody's chasing. The totally scaleless, if I actually produce one of those, that will actually be my most expensive ball python. All right, so there you have it. That is our celebration for 500 videos posted here on YouTube. It is pretty incredible, and I'm really looking forward to when I hit the 1,000 video mark. Of course, that'll be probably in 500 days if everything goes as planned. I'm posting one video a day, posting at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every day. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.